Welcome to Master Concepts in Chemistry. In this video, we'll learn how to calculate the density of a rectangular block. So let's go ahead and read the problem. So here's a problem. It says that a metal block is 2.0 cm thick, 4.0 cm wide, and 12.0 cm long. If its mass is 56.0 grams, calculate the density of the block. So from the problem, you notice that the volume is not given. The volume is not given, but the mass is given. Okay, so the mass is 56.0 grams, okay, but the volume is not given. But what you have to recall is that this is a rectangular block. So because it's a rectangular block, we can calculate the volume of this rectangular block once we know the volume formula because the dimensions of the block are known so we know it is 2.0 cm thick 4.0 cm wide and then 12.0 cm long so you have to recall that the volume of a block a rectangular block is giving us the length of it times the width of it then times the height of it okay now based on the dimensions given the height is in centimeters the width also in centimeters and the length also in centimeters so all these are in centimeters okay so we don't have to do any unit conversions okay so um in addition to that we are also asked to calculate the density of a rectangular block in grams per cubic centimeters. So we want to calculate our density in grams per cubic centimeters. So our mass is already in grams, so we don't have to do any unit conversions. And also, once we calculate the volume of our rectangular block, we are going to get a volume of, of a number with cubic centimeters. So our volume also will be in cubic centimeters, so we don't have to do any unit conversion. So the key to solving this problem is to understand that you have to multiply these numbers together to find your volume. Okay, so let's proceed to do that. So volume of block is equal to our length times our height times our weight. Okay, so we'll do 12.0 centimeters times 4.0 centimeters then times 2.0 centimeters so once we multiply these numbers together we should get about 96 cubic centimeters so we'll get 96 cubic centimeters so we have to look at how many semiconductors figures we have in terms of the dimensions so as if you as you look you notice that the number with the least number of significant figures it's um 4.0 and 2.0 so they have two same configures and then the um the length has three same configures so our answer should be in two same configures but usually you don't round up or down right away because we still have another step which includes calculating the density of our block okay but once we calculate the volume yeah we just got 96 cubic centimeters so we don't have to do anything we just keep it Answered it. So 96 here is two significant figures. Okay. Okay. So let's proceed to then calculate our density. So to calculate our density, we have to recall that density is mass over volume, right? So the mass is given to us, which is 56. So I recall it's 56 grams. So our mass is 56 grams. So 56.0 grams. And our volume is what we calculated, which is 96 cubic centimeters okay so we just proceed to divide so as you've seen our mass is in three significant figures because the zero after the decimal point is significant so we have one two three three significant figures and our volume is still in two significant figures so so we proceed to solve so once we divide this by that we are going to get 0 0.58 0 0.58 grams per cubic centimeter. So this is the two same configures, okay? Because the least precise value 
is our volume which is in two sync here. So our final answer we have to put it to two sync configures as well. So now the the zero before the decimal point usually are placeholders, so they are not significant. Okay, unlike the zero after the decimal point, based on significance of rules, the zero after the decimal point is significant, but the one before is not because it's just a placeholder. Okay. Okay. So as you've seen, calculating the volume of a rectangular block, it's straightforward once you know the formula to find the volume of your block. So yeah, so keep that in mind. If you have a rectangular block, you must plot length by wave by height. <coughs> if it's a cube, all the dimensions are equal. So you multiply uh, length by width by height. The same is just that you know it's a cube, so all the dimensions are going to be equal. Okay, so you just keep your value. Okay, so um, so that is that. So as you can see, you can always use a, f a, f a formula to calculate the volume of an object once your object is a regular object. So a regular object is an object with well-defined sides that you can measure.